Hello all, I'm Rambo from Insanity Gaming. Thanks for tuning in for my, my Bounty Hunter Rule Guide. It's going to be a great guide. I'm going to cover the equipment. I'm going to cover the horses. I'm going to cover the outfits. I'm going to do a bounty for y'all and everything I can think of. Uh, we're getting right into the outfits right here. Uh, remember everybody, comment, like, subscribe. I'm a growing channel. So everybody is able to buy the Wakini. That is the outfit that you're looking at right now. When you when you purchase the Bounty Hunter rule, and as you work up, you're going to be able to purchase these other rule, the other uh, outfits that I'm showing. Pretty sharp, I think. Uh, a little elaborate, maybe, but uh, yeah, they're cool. I notice, <laughs> I do notice people sporting them around free roam. But everybody, the Bounty Hunter rule, if it's your first rule, it's it's an exciting rule to, to get started with. And I, I'll be talking more about that throughout the whole video. Yeah, so if you're a new player, I think the Bounty Hunter might be the most exciting first step you could take as far as rules go. We're going to look at some equipment right now. But these are the rules that you can see I'm scrolling down them. And I clicked on the collector by accident, but there are five you can pick from. And the bounty hunter is arguably the most exciting one. And there's a lot of cool abilities, uh, equipment, weapon variants that go along with it. Uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's one of their better rules, in my opinion. And the reinforced lasso that you see in the upper right, I think that's... You don't have to have it, but it will make your bounty hunting life easier. And the bolas are nice. It'll let you... It'll let you hogtie somebody on the, on the run from the fly. And the Guero gun belt will, will become available to you once you rank it up. It's a very good looking belt. I'm in Strawberry right now, everybody. There's a bounty board up here by the jail. You'll find bounty boards across the whole map. They're not hard to find. Usually where there's a post office, there's one, and one in every town. But there's icons on the map you can look for. And on the bounty board, when you go up to it your first time, you're going to three, see three posters. The one on the left most with the $1 symbol is the least difficulty. The one on the right with the three dollars signs on the top is the hardest one the one in the middle is obviously you know mid-range but the the one on the right the, the most difficult one you can cycle through usually see how I'm cycling through the there's four you can either pick up four people or one person and there's also legendary bounties I'm scrolling through them right now they're a lot of fun a lot of fun everybody the legendary bounties but we're going to go with the easy guy, and I'm going to bring him in and show you what that looks like. Okay, so we've taken our first bounty with our new bounty hunter role, and we've come to the first site where we need to get somebody. Remember that turning them in alive is going to pay you more. So keep that in mind. And you're going to get a skill as you progress that's going to allow your eagle eye to make the bounty target glow uh, a different color so you'll be able to pick them out from the crowd and not have to worry so much about taking out the wrong person you can't be yeah that's that's what I used uh, to find him and you'll see I, I take some people out I hog tie them I, I take the rest of the people out and uh, just search the camp and loot all the bodies Yeah, beginning players, there's tons of stuff to loot from these areas. Like this this area here had three lock boxes and a chest, something like that. Plus, uh, I got a bunch of stuff from looting the bodies. So I'd, I'd check that out. Might get some things to sell to the fence. Yeah, after you've taken care of business and you, you have your man or woman hogtied, Call up your tr trusty horse, throw him on the back, and make your way to the 
wherever it tells you to go, whether it's a wagon or a city. Just keep your eye. Some, sometimes in the bottom right corner, it'll give you a cue to hit the person. If you don't do it, they'll jump off and you'll have to capture them again. All right, so we've got our first bounty. And we're at the prison. Jail. Notice the timer at the top. The, the longer you take, the better your pay is going to be. I wouldn't hold out for the 30 second limit. I kind of consider that a waste of time. If more than half of my time has expired, I just turn the bounty in and, and get a fresh one and, and start over instead of waiting. But I, I see people waiting. I don't think there's anything really wrong with it. If you if you would like to do that for a little bit extra gold and XP, it's just uh, just boring and tedious. Just standing there. This is a perfect opportunity for someone to mess with you as well. Yeah, there's our first bounty. And you'll see what the pay is coming up. Bounty complete. That's two. Okay, 16 nuggets, 1350 pay, and 210 XP. Okay, so we're now $13.50 richer and 16 gold nuggets richer. Uh, one thing I'll mention once you, you know, you get into the bounty hunter, and I'm, I'm just going over unlocks, uh, check them out while I'm talking. Um, once you rank up to level 30, all of the Bounty Hunter experience points that you get after that, uh, every 10,000 you get to turn that in and you get uh, 0.4 gold. So that's not bad. I've, I've done that myself probably three or four times over. And it's, uh, it's nice. Because, I mean, I have all my stuff ranked up, but I still like doing bounties. And it's nice that I'm getting something out of it other than just the enjoyment of playing the game. Along with this roll, you get a lot of abilities. You get the duck ability for your horse. Um, it's great for PvP. When you're riding on your horse, you, you can duck down and, and avoid shots. There are two gun variants. There's a Schofield and a Lamat variant. Um, not cheap, but they're both good looking. There's a bounty wagon that's going to be available to you and in the advanced bounty hunter, you'll be able to get skins for that wagon. A set of gloves, the Guero holsters. There's a new haircut. The bolas. The Breton horse. The Breton horse isn't a bad horse at all. I have the... I have a really nice one. I don't know how the lower rank ones perform, but I'm sure it's a fine horse. And you get the eye patch. That's something a lot of people like. Part one for level 30. We're going to see that soon. Yeah, uh, once you become advanced, you can buy some really expensive fancy bolas. A nice gun belt, spurs, new eye patch, uh, a new saddle. It's a good saddle, but you can't use the collector saddlebag for the seven uniforms. Uh, you're stuck with just five. That's one thing I don't like about the Upland saddle. So if, if all of your horses have collector bags and you have seven outfits saved, if you switch to that horse, you're going to lose two. But... Yeah, you get buckles, gun variants. Uh, the gun spins, I think, are pretty cool just to mess around. There's a lot to the, body, the bounty hunter rule. And uh, it's kind of why I'm doing this video. I think it's the, I think it's the best first roll for a new player. It's excitement, there's experience points you can make, gold you can make, money you can make. Um, yeah, lots of cool stuff. Okay everybody, this is my video on the Bounty Hunter roll. And I hope, I hope you liked it, I hope you got something out of it, I hope it helps you out. If there's anything that I didn't uh, explain clear enough, just Leave it in the comments and I, I will respond. Like I said before, I do think this is the most, the, the role that you can have the most fun with to start out. And I would recommend it. Lots of cool stuff to unlock. But everybody, thank you for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.